is towards the inside of that second wave as well. Indigo Breeze, who started off grey but is now brown, has about five or six behind, and they include Top Moon Champagne Gold. The boss's Oscar still well back with Grand War as Gowell Road made a mistake over that flood of hurdles and dropped the anchor, is just about last, and the horse rather living up to his name at the moment. But Coral Cup traditionally has changed markedly in the closing stages. What will happen this time around with three to take? Ashdale Ball out in the lead, Camprond in second, Christopher Wood in third, then in fourth, Commander of Fleet with Gowell Road, fast or slow improving into sixth place, then unexpected party, Gary Claremont and the shunter, Ganapathy has made good ground out wide in the uh, yellow and black colours, or vaguely yellow and black as they make their way now down towards the third last, out in the lead it's Ashdale Ball, he is over with the advantage from Camprond, then Commander of Fleet behind these fast or slow, Ganapathy moves through into fifth place, then Gowell Road, uh, Gary Claremont is in about 7th or 8th place, from a long way back Indigo Breeze is staying on, but it's Ashdale Bob at the second last, Ashdale Bob has the advantage, from in 2nd place uh, races Campron, then in 3rd is Commander of Fleet, in 4th place and uh, ridden along towards the inside, fast or slow, then Ganapathy, Christopher Wood, Gowell Road comes next, but they're stringing out now and it's Ashdale Bob for Jack Foley, who has the lead on the approach towards the last, leads by 3 or 4 lengths, Commander of Fleet for Shane Fitz Gerald, then towards the inside, fast or slow, who's now beginning to make ground amongst horses, hanging badly, Ashdale Bob at the last, Commander of Fleet senses his opportunity, and fast or slow is there as well, three set off the Cheltenham Hill, Commander of Fleet has the advantage, fast or slow, but Darrow O'Keefe is driven alongside the Coral Cup, sees on the far side, fast or slow, and Commander of Fleet go to the line together, Commander of Fleet may have just seen the fast or slow, his rider celebrates, back in third is Ashdale Bob in fourth was Cam Prond tied for fifth Christopher Wood Indigo Breeze is also involved in those with May, sorry Maze Runner probably just sick with Gowell Road Indigo Breeze is next across the line and eighth or ninth then Don the Bomb behind these is Champagne Gold uh, also finishing uh, well beaten in the end was Ganna Pathy Commander of Fleet, I think, has won for Shane Fitzgerald and Gordon Elliott, beating fast or slow for Darren O'Keefe in a really good finish between the pair. Third place for Ashdale, Bob, and they were the front three in what turned out to be a really muddy battle. Camprond it was who crossed the line in fourth place. Others that might make those extended places, Maze Runner and Christopher Wood, I think were involved. So we'll try and clear those up for you. It is Commander of Fleet, Gordon Elliott, Shane Fitzgerald and Giggins Town, who we think has won the Coral Cup. Well done, Richard, because that was hard. And you can tell the horses that were up in the van. They've got the clean colours. Camperon on the right there. Commander of Fleet near side here. Looks like he's won. Yes. I'm still waiting for confirmation. Number three, Commander of Fleet. Fast or slow is number 18 with Darrow O'Keefe riding. It looks like Shane Fitzgerald is on the board at the Cheltenham Festival and finally a change of luck for Gordon Elliott this year but they haven't called it yet he has one now hasn't he? yeah I think yeah. so it was it was hard to, to I'm not sure where, this, where the other horse um, that was looking to give a second where he was during the race but the likes of Commander and Fleet the colours were pretty clean on Shane Fitzgerald um, it didn't look like any horse could get in for the back here's the result first first place first and number three Commander of Fleet has won <laughs> for Shane Fitzgerald, such a promising Good young name guy. For the Kerry National winner. Fifty to one. Now he's on the board of the festival, Alice. Shane, fifty to one winner. That was close. Yeah, look, it was very, very close. But to be fair, look, he's so good and he's so tough. And she's that. Look, he's, he's just so good. He's so tough. And he really toughed it out for the line there, and we really needed him. And Look, we have a we have a nice little partnership between the two of us, and uh, we've been lucky to get her so far. So, no, look, it's great, and a massive thanks to to, Mr., to Jiggenstown and Garden, and um, everyone, Gary Cribben, and look, just after getting a new sponsor there recently, and um, Christy Moore and Moore and Refuse there in Galway, and it's, it's it's great to get one on the board along them in the side, but the riches anyway, no, it's fantastic. <laughs> How you've ended up not money. The rest of them, when they gave up calling the race, because we couldn't even tell who was who. Yeah, I, I was going to laugh at the way I played really. Uh, so it wasn't too bad that way. Well, you will not get a better experience than walking down that walkway. Well done, mate. Definitely, yeah. Thanks very much.
winner number 33 for Gordon Elliott at the festival. A first for Shane Fitzgerald. Wise head on young shoulders. Yeah, Got the britches in there, the hepatitis. Yeah, the sponsor, yeah, he enjoyed his day. But yeah, the interesting thing was, he said, he won a, a, a handicap over three miles. He was always going to stay, as he said, he wanted to keep him out. Uh, but he won up 152. It's a pretty good performance. The winner is to get this off a high mark like that. But it seemed to be the horses that were to the fore 